Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I, I want to go back to something you said earlier about your dad and how yeah. he had issues with, per se, church. Right, um, right. What, was he right? He was right from his perspective. He was right. Um, but he wasn't right to denounce church. Okay. Explain. And I think he wanted to hide the hurt that he got from it from us. He didn't want us to feel it. But he never dealt with it. Did he give you a reason why? Well, there, you know, there were stories where the, the, the pastor would try to hit on my mom. Uh, you know, they would kind of try to fleece the families there because we were a family, we're a bigger family than, than most people there. They would try to fleece the families for money and different things like that. And so uh, just made him feel pressured and made him feel bad if, we, if he couldn't give more money or if he couldn't do, you know, X, Y, Z. And so. And this was on multiple occasions, I'm probably. Oh, absolutely. Because it's easy to get caught up in religion when you're oh, dealing yeah, with Americanized uh, standards yeah. when it comes to Christianity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and I think back then nobody was talking about the realness of Christianity like they need to now. And they're starting to get there now. It's still kind of watered down in some areas, but they sure weren't talking about it in the early 80s, mid 80s. And so that, that made was my day. the humming time. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And, they, and, and the thing about it, a lot of things back then would be swept, un, swept under the rug. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so our generation, when we walk in and minding our business, we end up tripping over that hump in the rug. Yeah. And yeah. don't know where it came from. Mm. I like the fact that uh, your dad recognized when uh, he somebody's trying to run game on him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's all it is, bro. Already, I mean, you know what I'm saying. You know, he was OG, so <laughs> hey, you know what time it was. I mean, come, when you come from the streets and you see the activity, you recognize yeah. it. It don't matter where you put it at. It can be pimping in the church. I'm right. gonna be honest right. with you. And that's and, what it was. And and, and 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 you have to understand that seeing is seeing, no matter where it, right. where it's at, no matter how you fancy it up. And that was the thing. It was like at that time. Excuse me, honey. At that time, they could call out our sins. Yeah. But you couldn't call out the pastor's sins. No. Yeah, he said, touch you know, not yeah. thy my not anointed. anointed. Do yeah. my prophets no, no harm. harm. Right. Yeah. And like, like I'm not anointed. I, exactly. Now you get it. But <laughs> right. I think a lot of times uh, in the early times that we were dealing with then, I think it was a lot of uh, ignorance. Mm -hmm. I think it was not knowing that, that right. made some of those things happen. Uh, Education is something else. That's why I said the humming part because mm -hmm. a lot of the humming excludes the knowledge. Mm. Y'all don't y'all don't really real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> real. You don't Absolutely. have to think about it. You just sound good. It's yeah. a good it's a, a good sound, and mm -hmm. you hear it at the right time, and you respond to it. Right. And we definitely eloquent when it comes to sound. You know, mm -hmm. black people are something else. They can right. they can make sounds that nobody else can make. You right. know what I mean? Right. So I really think that I think your dad got it right. I mean, yeah. um, I just from the outside looking in, I'll say that a yeah. lot of times. Yeah. Your dad, because um, my children, they never been a member of any church mm -hmm. in their life. Right. Uh, they are the church. Mm -hmm. The word comes from the Greek word ecclesia. It means to simply be called out from among them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be real with you. We don't forsake not the assembling because yeah, we do yeah. assemble. Yeah. But I just don't put a structure on it like everybody else right. try to do. Right. Um, when I say that structure, meaning you can't, it got to be led by the spirit. Mm -hmm. Right. You understand where I'm Absolutely. coming from? Um, I'll go anywhere with you as long as you know that God got to be in the car. Right. We got to have some, we got to have the word. Right. I can't play with it. Not right. with my kids. I like what Joshua said when he said, if I ask for me in my house, we gonna forget about Lord. what they're doing on the other right. side of the flood and them people. And, right. and, and, and I'm just paraphrasing. Right. And forget about the Amorites and whose land you dwell. Right. But ask for me in my house. We gonna serve I, yeah, I, I know what we're going to do. Yeah. Us right here. Right. Yeah. We've been doing it for almost 20 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I just feel like a lot of times we try to fancy it up in a way to where we make it religious instead mm -hmm. of spirituality. That's right. Just like, but like for me growing up in the church, I always knew, up yes, um, I, I grew up knowing that, that that was a church over there. So now that my eyes have been open to certain things, mm -hmm. I'm looking at that building over there and saying, you know, that's the building mm -hmm. because it's only a church so-called when all of us go in there and that's when it's a church. Mm -hmm. But then people will be walking by and be like, oh, there's the church over there. I'm like, no, there's a difference. I used to turn my music down. And I'm going to be honest with you. The word church is taken out of concept when you do it that way as mm -hmm. well. And mm -hmm. you can confuse people if you don't use it correctly. Right. Because there is a difference. Mm -hmm. And we got to make known, you know, 
what really is going on. And I'm not trying to tell nobody not to go and worship. You worship however you feel to worship right. how you got to get to Absolutely. God. I don't tell you don't go here and don't right. go there and they don't do stuff for the community. Because right. you do have good people out here who represent yes. God in the right way. Absolutely. But let's articulate it in the right manner so we don't confuse the young. I, I think people have, and you were talking about coming from the hum generation. Yeah. Um, I grew up in church as well, mm -hmm. and uh, my dad was a deacon, mom deaconess, you know, we Baptists and all of that. <clears throat> and as I got older, and, and, and especially, you know, now uh, being with my husband, we learned, yeah, the church is a building, but it's but we are the church like exactly. you said we are the church and um a lot of times i think we misunderstood that we 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 were so into oh okay this is the pastor or or this is the first lady or or this is the deacon of the church you have to understand that people came from the world into the church mm -hmm. so everybody did, it wasn't about god they saw something that they could do that would be something that was quote unquote a hustle Mm -hmm. Everybody is not. The Bible says that you know the fruit that is bear by the big. right. Mm -hmm. You when you see the fruit, that's where you judge. That's where you look. You don't look. You don't look at the outward appearance. Mm -hmm. You don't look at that. But you look at the fruit mm -hmm. of what that person is doing. I don't care if it's a pastor. I don't care if it's a prophet. I don't care if they call themselves that. Because you like you said, what we walk in is real. We don't play with this thing. We yeah. didn't ask to be prophets. We didn't ask to be what we are in, in, in what God has called us to be. So when people play with this, they play with this because they don't understand that's right and they weren't called to do it right. God he calls you just like you were talking about Joshua and you talk about and all the other ones Peter and Paul all of these they were called to be what they are that's right and you have to be called into this and if you're not and if you're playing with this this is not the time yeah this is not the time to play with God when you think about but, the spirit uh, of go ahead when you think about the spirit of error and the spirit of truth, right? right. You 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 have, and, I, and, and I'm definitely gonna let you speak. Uh, <laughs> when you when you think about the spirit of error and the spirit of truth, so many people have been taught under the spirit of error. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and, 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 and so Tradition. you you can't even you look at them and you feel sorry for them right. because they was taught a certain way mm -hmm. and it may have been the wrong way and they're so stern about it. Right. Uh, the Romans chapter 10 said that people have a zeal for God but not according, according to their knowledge. knowledge. Mm -hmm. right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And people do have that zeal where they, they may be doing it and they, they was taught in the spirit of error, man, and I think that confuses a lot of times. And, it, right. and for leaders, who know, I believe know the truth, a lot of them. Not all Absolutely. of them, but a lot Some of them Some of know. them, But they use it yeah, for, right. for what they want to, so they to can benefit, benefit from it. Absolutely. And I think that a lot of times clouds, the, I know it clouds the word. Absolutely. It, it clouds truth. Right. And, 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 and you, you, gotta, you gotta be careful. When you but I, no, I but what, go sorry, ahead. But what I was gonna say is also that we as a people are lazy in a lot of different ways. Absolutely. We don't like to go search for ourselves for the truth. We right. don't want oh to go That's pick good. up a That's book right. to read because the Bible is there. And a lot of times, yes, as a child, I open it and look and like, well, I don't understand this. I get this part, but I don't get that. So a lot of times we look for somebody to teach us, to lead, you know, lead us. Now you have YouTube, you have videos. Let me tell you, when I read, I read, get what I gotta get. And then I look up sermons, I look up teachings, and I try to get bits and pieces because I'm not going to say I'm going to listen to everything this person is saying, but I pick out mm -hmm. bits and pieces from mm -hmm. what they're saying. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I can, okay, I get that. I, just to touch on that, and it's, you know, my wife was raised in a church. I wasn't. Like me, so, huh? Right. Me and, and so you. For, for me, I, but you know what? When I tell people this, you know, some people might take a, a, a offense to it, but I thank God that I didn't. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. Because for me, my love for God was genuine. It wasn't contrived. I wasn't, how can I be forced to love? He says that all the time. Yeah, how can I be forced to love a God, you know, and I don't understand him? And so for me, I was, you know, I, I was, a, I'll say it this way. I got into all my mess. I did everything that young people do. Girls, sex, wilding out, I did all that. And I thank God that he kept his hand on me because I, I see some cats who did that and they, they came up with STDs, you know, all kinds of things, you know, they, it messed up their lives. For me though, I thank God that I was able to experience that because now my witness is more realistic. 
And, and, and that's the problem with a lot of us sometimes in the church is that our testimony isn't real because we don't want to we don't want to put out there that we were flawed. We don't want to we don't want to be transparent. And so we're losing a generation because we don't want to say, well, yo, young, young blood, I did that, too. I've done that. And here's the solution that I found from it. So we don't make Jesus relatable. And I'm that's, not saying everybody because today that's so true. This generation, it's we want to see results right away. Right. You right. know what I mean? But yes, people have been more transparent than how they used to because people yeah. used to be everything used to be shut up. They would never right. talk about it. Right. Now because of social media, you see a lot of people talking about their demons, yeah. things that they've been through. So I'm seeing that a lot more. It's mm -hmm. not there yet. Right. You're not seeing a lot in the church as right. much, but you see people talking about it and it is coming up. It's mm -hmm. just not everybody. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.